Hey everybody, this is Julianne. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica. In today's video, I thought it'd be fun, since I'm dressed up in vintage, to go ahead and talk about my 10 plants that are currently blooming in my collection as of the mid-ending part of July. I am heading to afternoon high tea with my grandma and Catherine. Afternoon high tea is one of my favorite things to do wherever I go around the world. In today's video, I wanted to share with you 10 plant babies that are giving me blooms today. So blooms can either last really quickly, it can last for a day or two, and it can last for a couple of days. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I thought, why not? Since I never really dress up for the channel, but I always love dressing vintage when I do afternoon high tea. And usually when I do film every day for my channel, I'm usually either um, going to work, coming back from work, so I'm always in athletic wear if I'm here in Santa Monica, but I am dressed up and ready to go for afternoon high tea So I thought why not sit down and talk plants so in today's video without further ado Let's talk about baby number one that is currently blooming in my collection So here's my cute little crown of thorns This was definitely one of the plant babies that inspired me to do today's video these little blooms have been on my crown of thorns for I want to say well over a week and I wanted to go ahead and showcase these blooms because they don't really come very often for me. So I said, you know what, Julian, this is gonna be the perfect time to do 10 plants that are currently blooming on you because maybe at the end of the month for Pot of Fame, it might not be around, which is when I usually like to talk about any blooming babies. But I wanted to go ahead and do a dedicated 10 plants with blooms currently. So this is one of them. This Euphorbia, Crown of Thorns, is living in the front of my home with the rest of my cacti babies and it's in a blue and white thrifted cobalt blue planter. And I had this now for quite some time. I got this just for a couple of dollars from my local Los Angeles flea market in Melrose um, and Fairfax area. And I love going to my local flea market. Maybe this coming Sunday, I can go ahead and take my channel there if I have some time. I do teach Saturday and Sundays when I'm here in town. So it's hard for me to do any kind of filming in the morning on the weekends because I'm teaching but this is baby number one currently giving me cute little blooms in my collection so right on now. a different note and you'll see throughout the collection for the 10 babies I'm talking about today they all look different blooms are so cool so this is my next bloom that I would like to talk about and this is my variegated peace lily and one of my subscribers actually has a cutting from this and it bloomed on her and I think she has it in water and I was like, what? Mine hasn't bloomed yet this uh, planting season. And then shortly after, I have three blooms here. So I'll turn the planter so you can see what it looks like. So here are the three blooms. You have to look really good, but they're here. One, two, and three. Like, look at how adorable. Love it. And here's what the whole plant looks like. This was a birthday gift from Catherine last year. I had this piece, Lily in my collection for almost a year now and i love looking at it this is the only peace lily that i have um, and if i would have only one peace lily it would be a variegated one so i really love this plant baby a lot so thank you Catherine, for my birthday plant gift it's doing so good in my collection but three blooms look at that very so cute that Peace Lily is doing good. It's been in my collection for almost a year. I'm gonna talk about one plant baby that is living in a nursery planter, kind of finding its way in my greenhouse. But I still wanted to go ahead and give it a shout out today because it's giving me blooms, even if it's looking kind of sad. But here's one of my begonias. Begonias, I really, really love but a handful of them are very drama type plants and I could have brought this one up in my top 10 dramatic plants currently in my collection but it's giving out leaves, new leaves and if you see here, cute little blooms so I was really happy to see this when I came back from Oakland I was like, no way, it's giving me blooms in the greenhouse and I had to go ahead and give it a little shout out for today not looking the greatest again my begonias sometimes look like this and then sometimes they're thriving i have a handful of begonias in my bathroom that's doing really good um, but this is the current state of this one i absolutely love the hues of pink on the leaves and on the blooms so even if it's not looking the greatest it's still producing cute blooms so i have hope in it 
and I wanted to go ahead and showcase it in today's video. So one of my begonias in my greenhouse are putting off new growth and new blooms. So I know it'll eventually look nice and full, but for now, this is the current state of it. Still look. All right, so different kind of blooms as I try to not ruin my vintage dress. Here's one of my prized peperomias and of course it has the traditional rat tail bloom and it's super super cute so if you see here here and here there's cute little blooms so here's what the current characteristic of the plant looks like i've had this plant in my collection for over two years and i love looking at it um probably an easy propagator but i have never propagated from this one and i don't want to I love this plant so so much. I actually seen this on the table in the section of that one plant nursery that I went to in Alameda that was not for sale. There was one of them there. Um, and then the plant nursery that I went to yesterday in Glendale, California with Carrie, I think there's maybe one or two of these peperomias. So for me, they're hit or miss. Sometimes they can be uh, a common plant and then sometimes I don't see it at all and it's not very common so I want to consider this maybe kind of on the rare side so not down below if you have this particular peperomia and are your peperomias giving blooms so they have that rat tail bloom I'll share another peperomia in a second with rat tail blooms but doing really good this lives behind me next to my fountain and it loves living here in my patio so I wanted to share with you what the current condition of one of my favorite peperomias look like and it's living in a white planter that I probably got from Home Goods in Los Here is my Burgundy Oxalis. It's kind of weird, crazy, and kind of looks out of control, but this is how it's growing and I don't want to touch it because they're very fragile plants. But I wanted to share with you the cute yellow blooms that are popping throughout the plant. And this lives on my plant shelf in my bathroom and it's doing good i have my oxalises in my bathroom i don't know maybe they could live in the patio um, but for now my oxalises do live in my bathroom and they're putting out cute little baby blooms and i think my other one too my sunset uh, oxalis is doing good with blooms as well but this is the current condition of my oxalis kind of spreading out and um i mean i could maybe prop it up a little bit to get it higher but I don't want to touch it because they're very um, fragile plants. So not on the hardy side, but cute, right? Like I love the dark, deep, vampy leaves with a pop of yellow bloom. Super cute. I love the characteristics. And then Oxalis opens and closes with the sun. So very um, active plant. And this is what mine looks like. I got this one from Lakewood, California a couple months ago. And then the planter is from... Um, Ontario, California, and I got a bunch of them. And I love this style. It's like the terracotta style, but in My white. My beautiful Tritoscantia, one of them. And I'm gonna be doing a Tritoscantia collective video very soon. I just soon. picked up another Tritoscantia yesterday. So a Tritoscantia collective video will be coming soon. Probably one of the videos I'm gonna be filming this week. I have a huge collection, I love them all. And this is one of them that's blooming. So take a look at the little cute purple blooms. Isn't that stunning? love that and you see it peeking throughout the ends this is living also in my bathroom so there's a lot of action in my bathroom right now and i could not pass up not sharing this one with you i got this i want to say as my free plant baby from long beach and look at the way how it's growing it's growing kind of interesting like a fan but here is the current condition of this oxalis and the cute little blooms happening all over this beautiful plant baby and I love this one. It's very similar to the traditional Tritoscantia, the Wandering Jew that uh, Carrie gave me cuttings of. But this one isn't very prominent in the green. It's more like on the silvery side. So I'm really attracted to the colors of these leaves. Also living in a planter that I got from Ontario, California as well. So love the aesthetic of the deep vampy uh, hues of purple on top of a white planter love that a lot Believe it or not another plant baby also living in my bathroom uh, this is one of my pepper romeo ripples my caparata and look at the blooms like look at this do you guys see this like how crazy are the blooms on this baby 
It's doing really good. I can't believe this one is thriving in my bathroom. It's living in a Daiso Japan planter. I love this Pepper Romeo so, so much. I've been seeing it a lot lately in nurseries with bigger leaves and I really want one, but I already have the plant. So I'm gonna love this one. And so far it's loving its life in the bathroom. So shout out to my Pepper Romeo looking ever so cute with its beautiful rat tail blooms. And I wanted to go ahead and spotlight it in today's Here's video. another plant baby doing really good in my collection, my spider plants. In fact, uh, my other spider plant that I recently propagated from for my propagation video is also giving blooms. But I wanted to share the blooms on this one. So white blooms with a touch of yellow in the center. And I love looking at the spider plant blooms. Not only do they have cute, dainty, white, yellow blooms, but they have like tons of babies. So here's the current baby collection off of my original spider plant. This lives on the top of my vintage plant stand between my wicker chairs and my patio. And this plant has never given me problems. My curly spider plant, I really gotta kinda attend to. But this one, like, it's kinda like drama free. I just gotta make sure that I take care of it and it puts off nice growth and blooms for me every season. So shout out to my original spider plant for showing me plant love every month and I love looking at the blooms so this is one of them that I wanted to share in today's video. All right, so I went in my bathroom for another plant baby that's giving me tons of blooms in my bathroom. My beautiful, long and thriving original string of hearts. Literally, this thing is super long and trailing. I featured this baby many times on my channel last year and I've kind of been just kind of kicking back on this plant this year but I did feature it in one of my top 10 largest plant babies for my house plant collection but look at all of the blooms seriously this thing is bloomed out from head to toe and I love looking at the blooms like look at how stunning this is super cute so it's like a faint of pink with like maroon tips I love it this whole plant has never given me problems. It lives on the top of my window sill in my bathroom. I have one one window sill, and this one has been living there full time. I will go ahead and propagate this plant. I will go ahead and untangle it one of these days. I would definitely need at least an hour to take my time. But look at all of the blooms on here. Very stunning plant. So this is the current blooms on my string of hearts my beautiful Hoya Bella and I featured this plant baby for a meet my plant episodes and I kind of shared with you the process of what the blooms look like and this is what's left on my mother plant these little blooms I still love them though this is what's left of it and after this I don't know when this thing is gonna bloom on me again I do see a few small babies popping up that might be blooming on me sometime in the future but right now this is what's left of it but Hoya blooms are so special to me this is my first Hoya I ever brought in my collection without a bloom that bloomed on me so I wanted to go ahead and definitely feature my Hoya Bella in today's video I'm gonna wrap up my 10 plants currently blooming on me so I'm having fun with the top 10 series I thought I'd share with you 10 babies that are currently blooming on me after 10 dramatic plants i thought this was a great switch up especially since i'm dressed up for afternoon high tea so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a handful of my babies that are currently blooming on me as you can see all of the blooms look different stay tuned in the future if you guys enjoyed this video i'll do more of these throughout the season when more plant babies give me blooms i'll go ahead and gather them up and share with you the current status of them but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing updates on a bunch of plant babies and maybe plant babies that i really don't talk about so this is also another fun way for me to showcase them if you enjoyed seeing me dressed up in vintage I got this dress from a vintage thrift shop in Long Beach which I really really love Long Beach there's a really cool um, area there that I love thrifting at so I got this dress from there and this hat I got from a thrift shop in Phoenix Arizona so this is today's look which I absolutely love I'll go ahead and um, share a vlog on today's afternoon high tea on my vlog channel which is where I do all things that are 
outside of my plant life so my vlog channel miss julian go ahead check that out i have my egypt vlogs up there i also will be doing my philippines vlogs up there my travel with julian series and then also daily vlogs and tea talks and all of that so you'll see uh, today's afternoon high tea with Catherine and grandma on there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video seeing uh, 10 plant babies that are currently blooming on me and just different types of blooms I thought it'd be fun we are wrapping up July so stay tuned next week I will go ahead and film my pot of fame for the month of July before I head back to Vegas but this weekend I'm here and I'm so excited to film more content for you guys so if you guys enjoyed seeing this video give this video a big thumbs up so I don't know down below if any of the plant babies that I featured in today's video that are blooming on me are also blooming on you or what plants are currently blooming on you I would love to know in the comments if you're new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily upload it really helps me if you subscribe and thumbs up the video I do daily videos on this channel I have well over 500 videos to inspire you each and every day I have a video that goes live at every 5 a.m. so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video you can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from Santa Monica California bye